There are hundreds, if not thousands, of artists that paint the streets of Venice, uh, paint cafes and uh, various street scenes and other scenes. Yet some are compelling and some are not. And there's a mystery to it. In fact, we don't entirely understand what makes great art compelling. We just know when we look at it that we're looking at something special. Uh, who am I? Uh, it's a good question. Breakfast is making my day, always. Then I'm ready to go to, to paint. <laughs> yeah. I was born in south of Siberia. Beautiful, beautiful place. I'm so happy about my childhood. I was running with kids around the city. I was playing chess. I played volleyball. I was drawing. One day my friend just asked me to keep in company and go to art school and sign up. In about a week, he quit and I stayed in school. I like to paint kind of blocks, two or three paintings together um, with uh, one subject, but just with uh, different composition. My ideas are just work in, in one direction. This is one of beautiful Tuscan view. It's pretty simple. It's my uh, fantasy about my world, where I would love to live. I would love to sit here. I would love to enjoy this view. I'm often asked, are the places that Victor paints real? And my answer is yes and no. Yes, they are based on places that he's visited. He works from some source material, sketches and photos that he takes. But the final composition really comes from out of his creative process. The idea is not to literally depict the places, but to provide his impression of those places. If you saw his source material, you'd see how much artistic license has been taken and appreciate how much of his own feelings he's put into the picture. All of my paintings are alive. I can open the door. I can go through the gate. I can sit on a chair and drink wine. I understand that it's just flat canvas. And I don't have to explain what I paint. Some modern art, you have to explain exactly what an artist means. I don't. I always think that people understand my paintings better than I. You know, sometimes people ask, why you paint like that? And they start to answer right away by themselves. My parents moved to the Ukraine in uh, 1983 and in that moment I was in um, the, the second the second year in in college I stayed in in Siberia but I didn't have an apartment and I didn't have money and it wasn't possible to make money I brought to college a pillow and blanket and I was sleeping in the auditorium in class and I was hiding everything every day under the podium. I started to work at 6 a.m. Then my classmates started to come to class and then at 6 everybody goes home and I continue to work. When I was studying in, uh, in college, in uh, art college, uh, that was actually very not interesting exercise. You're supposed to mix color with uh, closed eyes. I was happy. I had possibility to work and I've been in art like in a part of water. My body was like uh, soaking in art. I served in the uh, Russian army for two years. I was painting general's portraits. Um, and, and actually, generals wanted to give a kind of presents for birthdays to each other, you know. And I was painting, painting for them, for, you know, the <laughs> gifts. After that, I just came to, to my parents, uh, to, to the Ukraine. In about a month after I came, I made decision 
to go to travel around around Russia without money. Uh, what was kind of um, maybe wild idea, but I needed to do something and I wanted to prove myself. I was traveling around around Russia for about 40 days. I understood what is what is hunger and it was so important just uh, because in future I um, I've got to the situation when I when I um, had to be hungry again. But I knew I already knew what it is. And I didn't get back. I just tried to stay and go ahead. Now I think I, I've got the right color in, in a uh, shade of, of white. I met my wife in Kyiv. I started to work to put stucco on a building. And we met, but just for one evening. And how we felt that we are so close to each other, we just touched each other once, hand by hand. And even now, we remember that uh, that touch changed everything. Oh my gosh, this is my man. And I felt exactly the same. Oh my gosh, I love him. Just because of touch. In about one month, uh, it was her birthday, and I, I painted the um, landscape for her. And I presented to, to her. And she was like, but it's so expensive. Uh, where did you get it? Uh, I painted it. Uh, you? <laughs> Are you nice? Uh, yeah, but why are you work in that factory? Just quit it. You have to paint. And I started to paint to make exhibitions. In about half a year, I had the first exhibition. I showed about 27 paintings and I sold all of them in the first day. I just left one. It's in my basement now. I can paint if I can feel what I paint. Why people like, I don't know. I like the new. What? This kind of look where you're sitting and you're seeing this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, it's so easy. It's so easy to, to paint. <laughs> no, it's not. Look at that. It's like <laughs> print, print. Yeah. Look, I, I look at you and I paint. You see? <laughs> I don't paint for everybody, but if somebody likes my picture, he's like brother or sister to me because he has the same view on the world. My daughter was born. We made decision to go to Yugoslavia. Maybe I'll work, I'll paint some, you know, for a year or two or something like that. And uh, maybe I'll buy a small apartment. And then my Valentina and my daughter, Ellie, will come to me. The day I um, crossed the border uh, between um, Hungary and Yugoslavia, the war started. From this moment, no, nobody in Yugoslavia uh, wanted to buy um, an art. Everybody thought just about bread. That was kind of the moment of truth. I, I had to make, make a decision what I'm going to do. Well, Victor has a great love of life and an appreciation of beauty and history. And in fact, it was this great appreciation for beauty that drove him to leave Russia and find his way to Italy. This was a particularly perilous journey at the time. Uh, he had to find his way out of Yugoslavia, as it was then known, uh, without permission and uh, avoiding uh, border crossings because he wanted to see the beauty in Italy that he had always seen in the art books and history books.
Uh, that was my dream uh, from my childhood, from my art school, Leonardo da Vinci and you know, Michelangelo. I thought if I'll get to Italy and I will step even once where um, my favorite artists were living, I'll be happy to the end of my life. And then, you know, police or whatever can just send me home. I didn't have Italian visa, of course. And I, I, I had a map, so funny map, uh, you know, so small. I didn't see anything on that map. I think it's supposed to be like, like uh, 15, 20 kilometers. From, from the point in Yugoslavia to, to Italy. I started to walk. I tried to, to walk um, through the mountains, not on the roads, uh, passes, with 40 kilograms on, in my backpack. It wasn't easy. And I saw just a path uh, with a cliff uh, next to me in Italian and Yugoslavian um, flags. And I understood that I'm somewhere really close to, to Italy. I saw a um, like military base and uh, it was just one way to get back or jump from the cliff about uh, 30 feet. And uh, actually soldiers started to, to you know, shut. Oh, oh, stop! And I didn't have even chance, you know, to think about. I just uh, throw my uh, my backpack to uh, from from the cliff and jump myself. So many sketches from different countries, Denmark, Copenhagen, Siena, Copenhagen, Rome. I do it really fast. I see the whole subject in one piece, like, chuk, 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 chuk. but look, this is Tuscany, Edinburgh, look at that. Tuscany is so soft and um, Edinburgh, Knight's Town some details helps me to understand the forms mm -hmm. that's just that but that's what you have to check for sometimes i feel so empty even my head is dizzy after coming from my studio that's why I need exhibitions, I need people who like my paintings because I think this is a circle of energy. I need that energy to create the new paintings. Victor is going to show us some wonderful techniques today as he has started this gorgeous work. They are gonna show us highlights. I practiced for so many years with all of uh, textures. Like, for example, how to paint bricks. When I look at my all the paintings, it's just you know, flat and so simple. People are drawn to Victor's work because it provides an invitation. An invitation to a place and a life that we would like to be involved with, that we would like to participate in. All of these open doorways, passages, corners, they beckon us to explore, to walk into the picture. And it's certainly a beautiful place to be. When we look at Victor's work, we see a fourth dimension, a dimension of time. When we have a sense of time, we have a sense of familiarity, a strange sense of deja vu, that we've been here before, or that we will be here at some point in the future. And this is a very compelling and engaging aspect of his work. You work and then you 
um, disappearing or melting somewhere. You are such in passion, in pain, 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 pain. And finally, you wake up three hours like that. And after that, you understand that you've been somewhere. And the most beautiful strokes, which usually I cannot even repeat. I love to paint. I have to change the nature. I want to show just what I see. I try to paint my town where I would love to live. I like to add my town to the real one. But now, you know, everything is art. And I'm not sure that my paintings are art. I think that's my soul. And that's what I want to live after me. When I see the real life, I understand that uh, to repeat it is no sense. I can take a camera and take a picture. But when I start to paint, I just try to feel that city. For example, okay, I paint Verona. I don't paint the real place of Verona, but I paint my feeling about the city. I just concentrate the whole city in, in, um, in small painting.